How you going, Aquarius? I have your daily reading for today. I hope you're happy. And feeling warm in your heart. Um, we're going to use three different decks to put uh, spiritual emphasis, let alone double emphasis on the spiritual message. And um, if it does resonate, can you give me a like and subscribe and uh, leave me a comment, please? You know, straight into it. Ooh. Queen of Pentacles. They're a very abundant queen. You're a very, if it's not you, somebody's a very abundant queen. Somebody's dreaming. Somebody's ser very serend serendipitous. Somebody could be manifesting or ascending in some sort of way. Ascended, ascension is possible because she's growing from her mind. Could be manifesting because that's how we manifest with purity of heart too because she's poised and elegant and worth it, if that makes sense. The Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles, 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 Pentacles. Well, we know Pentacles are a material world, nature, resources, finance, health uh, in themselves, yeah. It's paid work, profits, business, labor, things like that, yeah. Deals with the uh, emotional aspects and material aspects of the world. Oh, well, the best part about her, right, is she is an energy of nurturing motherly abundance. That's what she is. She's able to stand the olive branch, which shows how wise she is from her brains there, which shows growth in herself. But she's a pillar of abundance and strength, financial wealth and gain. She's unconditional love, mothering and nurturing energy, prosperity, trusting in the universe to provide. She's lessons of lack and greed, and she sees in her abundance everywhere. She is earth energy, she is grounding, she is responsible, and she is comfort. And she is definitely comfort. I'm talking to a beautiful person who is on the highway of fruition. Yes, protect your energy. You're somebody beautiful. This this uh, protecting that energy is with the underlining energies of that is was serendipity before, but in this case, it's I show up bravely and I stand my ground because you would definitely stand your ground being that poised and that elegant. And it's dynamic energy. It's movement and growth. It's protecting one's ideas, courageously sharing your ideas with self-expression. This is a beautiful. Per I'm talking to a beautiful person. That's for sure. Yeah, man. It, it, the cards speak for themselves. The fact that you should be celebrating at the moment. Spirit says you should be selling at the, braiding, celebrating at the present moment. Yeah, protect that energy. Just come straight out. And you are the king to the queen of abundance. Yeah, yeah. All right. Nine of Pentacles. We're going to talk about this card for a second. The Nine of Pentacles is material and, and spiritual abundance, but in yourself. If you're not in a relationship then that means you don't need a relationship and you don't seek outside validation. That means you were personally achieved in who you are. If you are in a relationship, and married, whatever it is, that would mean that you are perfectly happy in the person you are. Either way, they're both the same thing, but one's, one's basically, one wouldn't accept a relationship without knowing who they are and the other one's in a relationship, so she wouldn't care. But she's success found. These two cards together scream success found, for, but that's what they are, yeah? It's like a self-made person, maybe somebody who's self-reliant. Somebody who enjoys time alone, okay? Because like I said before, when I channeled there, it shows that she doesn't need anybody, doesn't want anybody. So therefore you are able to self-soothe, yeah? Is that the best way? That's the best way to put it. You're on the brim of joy though. Ah, uh, you are the fruit of your labor, or of one's labor either way. Uh, security and comfort, because both of these scream that, because she's definitely, she's comfortable, and she's comfortable, and shows the security that you would have in life. Lavish, comfortable, contentment, sophisticated, there you go. Somebody, I'm talking to somebody so sophisticated, because look how sophisticated she is in there, and look how cool she is there. It's time to celebrate. It's time to celebrate Aquarius. That's what that is. Celebration can mean marriage and things like that, but it means you've come through a finish line and you know who you are. You're celebrating yourself, you know, and, and that's cool. That's excellent. That's excellent to be quite honest because you show up bravely into, into who you are. You're enlightened. So that's enlightenment. It can be different perspective, but I wouldn't see that with the infectious energy that you're pre presenting to in the certain world. You've definitely a lot of made a lot of sacrifices in your life, okay? Uh, the page of wands. Pages in themselves, um, 
their focus on the internal, the events, uh, the messages, their actions that are learning. So this is somebody learning at the present moment of their creation of themselves, like somebody curious, like the page of swords is somebody who's curious about intelligent things um, and things like that. This is somebody who's curious about inspirational things, like an inspired person. Um, that is infectious energy and that is like, um, See the sparks? It's like you have um, a million sparks of ideas or something, or the enthusiasm at the beginning of something because you're enthusiastic. So see, see here, look how enthusiastic she is. Look how enthusiastic that energy is, all right? And so if you've worked very, very hard, the hard work and diligence card's trying to come out uh, with the perspective. So that's your perspective, or that's my perspective, or, but that's spirit's perspective as well. So, But that's um, in itself, you're brainstorming and planting the seeds for new projects and futures for your successful stars. You have vibrancy of youth. I'm talking to somebody very gorgeous. Uh, and you have a zest for life. You know, exciting new opportunities often mean learning new things and figure out, figuring out how to use those sparks when they arrive because we've got the sparks there. Yeah, you trust your intuition. Uh, you are the expert, I suppose, of your universe. Within within that, that, that like screams that you are the expert of your universe. Your universe as you create, there you think, therefore you are. So therefore you are your universe. And in that, you trust your intuition. You... You're so strong, you face your fears. You are the watery nature of the unconscious mind. You are beautiful. That's the best way to say it. You are beautiful. There are bad cards in these decks. Yeah. What is that? The Knight of Cups. There may be something coming in soon, okay? Um, around the Knight of Cups, okay? Um, and that symbolism, but that can be perception as well. You are the rain, rain, rain clouds of idealization. That's the best way to put that. All three cards scream that. Everybody's fighting for that light. Everybody's fighting for this. So, you, if, okay, if you are in a relationship, then everybody wants to be in that relationship with you and they probably see that, okay? That's the truth, okay? So if you're in a relationship and you are this is your king to the queen, okay, then you would have people walking past and they would want to be in your relationship. They would want to... They would look at you for inspiration. They would see you as elegant, poised, beautiful, okay? But you'd probably find that men will, if you're a female, men walk past and they want to be in a relationship with you. Uh, if you're a female, if you're a male, then females would want to walk past and be in a relationship with you because she is infectious enthusiasm, which means people walk past and go, wow, yeah? She is personally achieved in that nine of pentacles, which shows somebody whose people would look at and go, oh, wow, oh, wow, yeah? And then the poison elegance of that queen of pentacles shows how lovely you are, if that makes sense. Okay, now we have a king to a queen of pentacles, the perfect couple. So if you're not, the reason I say that everybody wants it is because everybody's fighting for it, see? Yeah, everybody's fighting for it. Yeah, everybody's fighting for it, right? Now, if not, and you're single at the present moment, then you are harm, harm, that much harmony in your life and you are achieving, achieving success and rewards that are absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic, okay? Because now, as you come through and being in that, embracing that energy that you're in, that would definitely bring the lover of your dreams, if that makes sense. It doesn't have to be a male or female. You can be the male here and in touch with your feminine side because that's what you would be in that type of energy. It would be extremely intuitively intelligent on both sides, the masculine to the feminine. Now, when you're in that type of energy, that's where these ones come. So if you're in a relationship, then people would look at you from the outside in and want to be with you. I know it sounds weird, but it's the truth because everybody's fighting for that. Now, if you're single, then you're the type of person everybody's walking past and fighting for that. You're like literally walking past people and they're probably like, wow. Because of that infectious enthusiasm there. And it's probably just based upon your, it's probably not because of your pentacles or your money. It's probably because the ability of who you are as a soul. Yeah, on a soul level, as we are humans having a soul experience. You know, you're a spiritual being. Very spiritual. You trust your intuition and you float. You would expect that to come out, yeah? You are that balanced that you are the underlining energies of that right there. You are all four queens in the deck or all four kings in the deck. But one way or another, you are embracing that unconditional love. Now, when you are in this energy, okay, and you're at that road in your life, that's the best way to say it, road, see, road, yeah? 
Well, you're probably that wise you don't even see it. Um, you would be embracing this energy. What's trying to come out here on the bottom here? Yeah. <laughs> it's like you are spirits. That spirit pulling somebody to some direction, okay? And spirit says you're free. Does that make sense? Because she is somebody who was unapologetically herself. She boldly expresses who she is. And that's exactly what she is. She's somebody that would boldly express who she is. So that um, empress energy there is like you're embracing that empress energy like you've never ever seen before. You're nurturing, you are mother love. You are one beautiful mother lover, yeah? And you are mothering love from the universe. You're a beautiful soul. You're a divine feminine or divine masculine. However, it doesn't have to be a male or female, right? That's what this card is. She's embracing that en energy. Uh, you're the embodiment of creation. You are healing, you are mothering, you are fathering, you are self-love, you are self-care, you are compassionate, you are beautiful. It's like you are a fruit, the fruit from creatrix. That's the best way to put it. You are the fruit of the spirit itself. You're the fruit. You are the living embodiment of what it's like to be blessed. That's got to be the best way to say it. With all these energies combined together. Okay, um, I'm going to flick the decks in a second. I'm going to have a look a little bit further, but we only got one more card to put Let's just come back out. If you're... Eh. All right. It's fate for you to have that. Whatever you want, whatever your joy you want in that type of energy, it's fated for you to have that because that's a karmic wheel and that's joy and love, happiness, positive, positive friends, positive family, positive everything. However, I just pulled this card out. Now, that, the card out. Now, that card is a person who is unconditionally themselves. Somebody who is not apologizing for anything in life because who you are is who you are and who you are created throughout the trials and tribulations of your life, of your fated journey that you have had, built you and carved you into the beautiful person that I'm talking to right now. And we can see that if you beat to your own drum and you are freedom, you are freedom, you are free in yourself to be the beautiful soul you are. Now, if you are waiting on love, that's coming for you. Somebody who wears their heart on their sleeve, somebody who's beautiful. Somebody who is emotionally, intuitively intelligent and somebody that deserves, I'm going to bring it up right now, somebody that deserves love, okay? Because in that energy, people would be walking past and they would love, 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 love. But um, what you're bringing in, in this type of energy, is a brewing, hopeless romantic because that's what that is. The purity of his heart. See, he sits there with his cups and his love letters with his roses in his hand and he's waiting. So if that's you and you're waiting for love, Spirit says it's coming, so continue to beat your own drum. And it's fated to work that way. However, if this is you, continue because it's fated to work that way, but show the world the love that you are because that's what that is. Okay, and there's something beautiful coming towards you because... I'm telling you the truth. In this energy here, which you might as well just that straight in the middle of it because that's all of it. The love, the fate, the, the beauty of who you are, right, at the present moment. And that's what you're embracing at 13, 13 on that clock, right? In this energy, I guarantee you, people will be looking at you. People will be literally just walking straight past you like there's no tomorrow. And that's the energy that you would see. Look, she's beating to her own drum. And that is the flame. She's um, destiny and she's dating. She's that card that I showed you with the um, the one that wears his heart on his sleeve. He's, he's destiny and he's dating and he's happy flirtation. He wears his heart on his sleeve. He's the loving idea of being in love and he's the thrill of the chase. And he will go for it. He's the, sight, he's the excitement of the fresh, the hunt, the conquest. What kind of creator are you? One who loves beginnings and who loves to be finished. I, that just That's what it says. The honesty of puddles. <laughs> you are the honesty of puddles and yeah, puddles of love. That's what you are. You are the seeds of love. Look at that. Gives you the, you are the gift to this world. It's as simple as that. It's no joke. Right? Yeah. Look at that. Temperance angels watching over you, keeping you safe. And I guarantee you in that type of energy, that will protect you like there is no tomorrow as the sun is rising up in the background that shows positivity and inner beauty. Uh, the, the, see, you are the perfect balance of masculine to feminine, which is the amalgamation and duity, duality of two. Um, but yeah, that's what that is. As you can see, the angel was blending those two cups. That is the perfect blend of human. 
Wow. Treat yourself to a day at the spa. Treat yourself beautifully. There's good news coming in, okay? You've healed, and it's around love. You have a holy cup of love. You have literally prayed for it. And then here we are, double emphasis on that. And then underneath, we have the celebration. We have the celebration to that social success because why? You've come through all of these things. You've come through that sadness, the depressions, the trickeries, the deceptions, and spirit pulls you straight through with the inspiration as you literally, 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 literally. Justice. Whatever you went through here, because there's fighting there too. Spirit had your back the whole time, and that's your justice. As you are karma in itself, you're a karma beast, okay? Now, what does that mean? It means somebody who just does beautiful things with their heart. You just do beautiful things with your heart. The whole reading screams it. You do beautiful things with your heart. You don't wish anything bad upon anybody. You don't do anything bad. You just, within reason. Um, and you just do you, do you. And then in you doing you, it shows the world with karmic experience and natural law that you are followed by the divine and the divine walk with you and protect you 100%. That just comes back. But you can see that there is um, literally... You made a wish in for some reason, okay? I, I have to be serious about it. We just shuffle these cards. Now, these are the cards that just come out. You have healed in some sort of way or your presence is healing in some sort of way which creates some sort of good news, some sort of communication that's coming in fast. Because you're enthusiastic and infectious at the moment, when you're infectious like that, people will be drawn to you, male or female. Now, you have wished upon a star in some sort of way for some sort of abundance. Now, we have abundance of money or pentacles, material wealth, in some sort of way. And we have the abundance of love which is both of those two in themselves, uh, the pentacles, the material world, uh, nature, resources, finances, and health, and then the cups are emotions, intuition, instincts, relationships, and love. And that's exactly in that energy that you would be pulling to yourself. That is the holy grail of love. That is the ultimate in love. Look at all the emotion that pours out of the top of those cups. Yeah? And this... This is the fountain of youth. This is Eden in itself. Have a look. It's about to walk into the Garden of Eden. See? And that is your abundance. And that is the seeds of growth in the potential there. Same card. See? As the seed is you. as And that sprawls out through the universe in order to give it. And that's the journey you're on with the Two of Swords above it. And you have wished. If you are the Queen of Swords, then you have made the wish for abundant king to come in. Okay, if you're single, if not, then you have made the wish for abundance in some sort of way to come in because it's surrounded by abundance. Okay, but now we go into that Empress energy there and the Knight of Wands. Spirit, we've got the Ace of Pentacles, but then it leads us to the Empress. Where are we going here? Because, boom, you are love. You've worked very, 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 very hard to who, for who you are. And that's our last card before we flip the decks and the world is completely in front of you. Okay, she is love. She is emotionally, intuitively intelligent. She is the joyful, meaningful connections of love, compassion, creativity, like a creatrix, but a different way. The emotional, intuitively intelligent. She is the connections and rela re relationships. She is self-care, self-love. She is feminine nature. She is connection with life, the sea of emotions, accessing how truly beautiful you are and how you feel and sharing that love with others. She is the tentacles of the experience of love. And when you put these two cards together, it shows you how hard that you have worked, because that's hard work and determination to be the loving, beautiful soul that you are. Okay? And look at this. She's unconditional love. So that's how it sits in front of me. And look, two knights. Yeah? And what are knights? Knights are focused on the external, their movement, their act. You put act in. You acted on it. And you put the hard work and determination in by being yourself, unconditionally loving yourself and showing that to the world within determination, drive and determination to be exactly who you are unapologetically. And now that that's beautiful. Now we're going to flip the decks and have a look. I shuffle these cards five times before I start. So that way they're for completely fresh. Okay, then I flick them, chuck them in there. So when that comes out, that's your card. Now that is bad ass success. That is completion in success. That is Stay at the, you could do anything, okay? See the lights on her and the star there. See the star here, which the whole reading is around the star. See the star? See the star. Okay, we've got the Queen of Pentacles. Uh, under that is we've got healing and that beautiful healed soul. Okay, uh, we've got the Knight of uh, Wands and the Knight of Pentacles with continuation on that, but we need to know a little bit more about that one. Kid Craig, for <laughs> oh, we know. Sorry. Oh, I just, I that you are co-creating with the divine. You are, you are beautiful. You are teamwork in itself. You are amazing, amazing soul. Yeah, you are, 
you are co-creating with the divine, completely and utterly co-creating with the divine, yeah? There's the divine in the Hierophant, okay? And there's the co-creation, the teamwork where you work with the divine. There is beautiful good news coming in. I need you to stay in that beautiful, radiant positivity, and I didn't even need to say that. You just got to do it because you're naturally beautiful. Uh, but we have good news coming in in some sort of way. They ostracize. Don't ostracize you. Whether, whether whatever led you to this... Because this is hard work and determination, right? Because now it gives me an, an understanding of what we've gone through in order to get it as we're on to the third level, the third deck, which puts triple emphasis on that. That's clarity for you. If you don't believe me, that's clarity. That's the sword, ace of swords um, in itself, okay? But this, it shows how hard work you have been and what you have gone through. So there's good news coming in and communication. And it's, in theory, somebody along the way left you out. They left you out in the cold. Maybe somewhere along the way you were sick. It was so, just sick, sick, if that makes sense. Give me a second. Five of materials is trying times hardship. You've come through some really, really hard things, okay? Because we have hard work and determination. So it was hard work to get you out of that energy, if that makes sense. And, and that is the safety and security, things being left out or apart, financial difficulties and health struggles and, and seeking shelter. So you may have been homeless. You may have been left out in the cold. You may have watched people eat at tables where you weren't allowed to eat. You may have been broke, fallen all the way down. But as you co-create with the divine and heal to the person you are, there's clarity for you. And there's that's co-creating with the divine. That is 100% giving and receiving. That is the giving and receiving card of six of materials, and which is leads from this to that, which shows when you pass this test of being left out in the cold and doing it with tenacity and having the most moral fibered, beautiful, intuitively loving sweetheart to do it all the way through and still have a beautiful heart after it, that's when you leads to the co-creation with the divine. So you give and you receive what you, what you determine to get in life. Does that make sense? You give out what you receive. Let's, let's say it a bit better. You do beautiful things, so beautiful things are coming to you. Literally. Trust your intuition at this present moment. Trust your intuition at this present moment. That's the sun or the star, in theory. That's walking towards the light as well. But even though that's the black hole of Sagittarius A, everybody, everybody thinks about the sun, right? The sun, it has the moon go around the sun, right? Well, the sun, and, and it takes 365 days for our planet to go around the sun, right? But what people don't realize is when you zoom in even further out, there's a big black hole called Sagittarius A. And if this is the sun, it's on the Sagittarius arm going around that at 256,000 years, I'm pretty sure, to go all the way around to come for completion. So 256,000 years, it comes all the way around, roughly. It's traveling speeds, like ridiculous speeds. But yeah, so you can see that you are walking towards the center of your universe and you should trust your intuition. You should trust your psychic abilities. You should trust your dreams. You should trust the 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 beautiful things that have made you who you are. And if you have dreams at the present moment, then they're about to come to a fruition because that card is in itself the high priestess, which shows intuitive powers and messages from beyond. You are completely and utterly 100% co-creating with the divine, regardless whether you can hear it, or regardless whether you see it, you should know it by now because you are 100% trusting your instincts and allow your projects to germinate, germinate, see germination, uh, to in the sacred space of the liminal, which means you are a sacred person, see, okay, and you listen to your intuition, you go within when you need introspection, okay, and visions and powerful nudges from the spirit, listening to your gut, hearing the heavens and secrets, that's what that card means, and that is your gift, you are the holy grail, and that's technically what the holy grail is, is love, and being able to find that love within spirit, and have that soul, soul source of love, okay, you made a wish for it, and you got it, Same card, man. Same card, right above it. it sits there. So it shows that as I was, I'm talking about it, it comes to the Holy Grail. So the Holy Grail of love, then the High Priestess, and then this is next to it. Okay, so it shows as a mirror that, like we we're talking about before, as a mirror, you are love in itself. So what you put out to the universe, you will be mirrored back, if that makes sense, with you giving and receiving and co-creating with the divine. That is the Ace of uh, Page of uh, Wands, which is the same uh, energy of that, which in itself is 
infectious enthusiastic energy and you are infectiously enthusiastic at the present moment and you deserve the career the pages are to me the trials and tribulations card of learning the lessons through the one to the ten and being able to step off knowing the knowing the direction you're going and learning from the lessons in life and that was your wish look you learn your value you you know your value you know what you bring to this planet you know what you bring to people around you you know what you bring to relationships you know what you bring to life and you even know what you bring to yourself because that is a person who holds on to their value holds on to their worth and knows their worth and that is the gift of abundance. They stabbed you in the back. You've probably been hurt, ridiculously hurt along the way by many, many people. Okay, you probably had to walk away from that. Okay, it's literally faded for that to happen. Literally, look, faded for that three cut, three of broken hearts. Look at her. Yeah, you go through those trials and tribulations so you can know what love is and be that unconditional, un, unconditional, unexpressive, beautiful love. Okay, and that's where you beat to your own drum and uh, be unapologetically yourself. And that's hard work because it shows after you go through all the trials and tribulations to still be beautiful, it's hard yakka. The growth, man. Your growth is ridiculous. The seven of pentacles is growth, okay? That's, okay, so the ace of pentacles, you can see that's the seed, okay? By the time it gets to the nine of pentacles, it's come to fruition in your soul, okay? The seven of pentacles is a little baby germinated seed. Now, in this card, she's literally growing lots of plants, see? And the plants are you. You are the seed of growth because that's where this comes into play. And above that is the same card again here, which shows your seeds of growth in order to be exactly who you are. We've got one more card after this growth, and that is us. What a beautiful, amazing reading. Oh. Bullets! Bullets, don't leave yourself out. Trap yourself in your mind in no way. You wouldn't do that, I know, but don't leave yourself out in the mind. Wherever it was, whatever you came through gave you the beautiful growth, beautiful growth, see, growth from that to eight to the eight. That's eight of voices to the eight of materials in order to become the king of love. Now, we had that before, which gave you your level up, which is the card under that, okay? But the whole reading, like I said here, the whole reading is around that, the star. Now, when we started at the beginning, we, sh we pulled that deck out and I showed you on top, there was uh, a star. Yeah, and that's what the whole thing is based about. It's based around, and then it ends on you getting your hopes and wishes and dreams. You are a beautiful soul, and you deserve nothing but the best in life. Continue on your journey because spirit is completely and utterly impressed by you. I want you to have a lovely, beautiful day, and take care.